Good morning. Today is the day we do our five minute face. So we'll get started right away. I'll see if I can get it done in five minutes. I usually can, but I might yap too much. So we'll see how we do. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our glorious primer. You can see it's awfully hard to put a video on Facebook looking like this, but it's way better to be able to show you all the steps. So I am squeezing out a little pea-sized amount of the glorious primer. My shelf is just a little low, that's why I'm gonna pop up and down. Okay, this you put on with your fingers and just spread it all over like you would a moisturizer. And because I'm doing a five minute face and I'm not worrying about the eye primer, I'm putting it on my eyes as well. There we go. Now when you put a primer on, you wanna let it kinda of soak in for about, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, but just for our video today, I'll get right going. Okay. So I said I was going to be doing the pressed powder because it is quick, it has great coverage, and it's it's great. So I'm using Velour, that is my color right now, and I'm just gonna take the little sponge that comes with it, and that's what I'm gonna use. If you didn't want as much coverage, you use the Big Fat Powder Puff brush. But this one, I want to show you, get rid of all this redness, cover up the dark circles a little bit, and here we go. So I'm just going to spread this all over. And I'll try not to talk too much while I do it so that I get done in my appropriate amount of time. But you can see how good it does at taking care of the redness. And even your dark circles, you know, with when you don't have the time for doing everything and your concealer and all of that. This is a great little product. And nice to be able to just have one thing, especially if you're traveling. Okay. There we go. Good, all right, done. I forgot to bring my rose water over here and let's just pretend that I'm spraying it on right now because that's my next step with the foundation. I just forgot about it. Pardon me. So next one, we're gonna go bronzer. So I'm gonna take the, uh, this side over here is your matte side. That's the side you wanna use to contour because you don't want sparkly contours. Mm, so I'm just gonna do that. And just dig in underneath that cheekbone. Look at that. Look at the difference already. Makes it look like you are mm, very uh, thin and chic, even though we might not be. There we go. Okay, now I take a swoop through the whole thing and I just give a little contour up here on the foreheads and down on the jawline. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. And I'm going on to blush. Sorry that I popped down. Up I come. A little bit of blush makes a big difference. This one is sweet. It's a very uh, nice soft color that most people can wear. And I'm just gonna take that and do it right above my bronzer. Just give a little bit of color. And this stuff is so pigmented you don't need very much. So there we go. All right, one of my favorite things, splurge eye cream. I can't tell you how great this stuff is. And the color I picked today is elegant because I have yet to see this color not look good on somebody. Like it looks good on everyone. And it's just a pretty basic champagne color. And what I like about it is that I can do this just like I'm gonna do with my mascara and be done instead of doing a whole uh, bunch of steps with my eyes. So I'm just going to apply this with the cream shadow brush. And I'm not gonna be a big brush pusher on any of you but I would suggest that you get this brush because I'm hair on it it's densely packed and very tight and that's what you want for a cream shadow you don't want a big fluffy brush so look at that look at how pretty that is it is so pretty okay so if you wanted to take an extra step you know, you could take a palette and do your crease with it, or what I've been doing lately is um, the Tenacious Cream Shadow, 
uh, in the crease. It's that bronzy one. It's very beautiful. And then I put a little bit of it uh, underneath as well. Okay, eyes are done. Mascara, here we go. Okay, three steps, gel, fiber gel. So the gel is the, is the long tube. Okay, and when you pull it out, sometimes it gets, there's more product than you need at the, ba at the base of the brush, so I just get that off. Okay, this is a little tricky in a phone, but here we go. So I'm gonna go base to tip. And really get it in there. I see I'm making a mess, but I can fix that up after. Okay, once you have that on, base to tip, so you can get rid of that. No. Okay. Uh, then you go in with the fibers. Okay. And you want to go about halfway up and coat those lashes. So it's going to give you some length, it's going to give you some volume. And then you got to go back in with the gel to seal those fibers in. If you happen to have uh, fibers falling on your face during the day, you will know that you haven't sealed in uh, your fibers right. So you just want to make sure you really get all those guys sealed in. So I go underneath and I go above. And then I lift it back up. Just like that. Okay. So, you can see there's my one coat of Fiber Lash Mascara. I'll do my other eye real quick. I don't use the I don't use the fibers on the bottom lashes. I find I don't need that extra volume and length down there, so I just use it on the top. Okay, there's our gel. Now fibers. There we go. Last step. And then the very last step we're gonna do is our lip stain. There we go. You have no idea how tricky this is in a phone. Okay, there we go. Eyes done. Last step, lip stain. The one I picked today is Sappy. Uh, it's one of our lighter colors. Shy is the lightest, but it's got a little bit of a pinky tone to it. Sappy is, is very similar in the level of color, but not quite as pink. So, once you put this on, you're good to go for four to six hours. So usually I take one of those EOS balls with me and just put that on and you get some moisture. There we go, a little bit of color, not too much, not too stark, not too crazy. All right, and there is our five minute face. Way better than it was when I started the video, hey? And I talk too much, of course, so my video is longer than it's supposed to be, but if you get going in the morning and you get going with, and you have all your stuff with you and you're ready to go, you can do this in five minutes. So, everything we talked about all week, uh, we just used. If you have any questions about anything, let me know. And I just wanted to uh, remind you about the bundle that is for sale up until uh, midnight tonight uh, with that Uplift Eye Serum in it. I've seen a lot of ladies uh, using that um, that I actually know and seen their results. So, you know when you look at pictures and you think, oh, that's photoshopped? I've seen the actual people and I've, I've seen a lady's uh, video and she's been using it for three weeks on one eye and not on the other and now she says she feels kind of stupid because it looks so, you can see such a difference. So now she's trying to catch the other eye up but anyways, that's a great deal when considering that that's $78 on its own and you get the whole package for 106 I think it is. Um, so you get another mascara, you get a lipstick of your choice and the brow gel and that cute little makeup bag. And um, if you happen to have a mascara on the go already, 
the mascara will be fine unopened for up to two years so you're laughing or break it apart and give some of it away for gifts so uh, thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know Bree's party closes at midnight tomorrow night I think so get your orders in help that girl get some free makeup and some half price makeup and thanks for hanging with us for the last uh, 10 days thanks bye